Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Karasev and today I'd like to show you how to use a, a post a method handler for the cast table form and the method is run method. The legitimate question would be uh, why would we need to use this old technique if uh, the new technique such as uh, uh, method wrapper or a chain of command is available the answer is simple. There are customers out there who are on the Dynamics 365 uh, the version um, prior to 7.2 update 12 and uh, customers on uh, Dynamics 2012 release 3 for example. If this is your case um, you would probably uh, be encouraged to uh, review your uh, cust your customizations and uh, identify the places where you have um, a method over layering. If you have method over layering um, and you um, expect an um, upgrade to Dynamics 365, you would uh, need to um, change uh, over me method over layering to um, move your custom functional functionality to um, pre and post method handlers. If possible you can f find uh, the events then you can uh, use also event handlers and uh, if you see delegates applicable to your case uh, it's a good idea to switch to delegates. Today we will take a look at the um, simple realization of uh, post uh, method handler for cast table run method. Why do we use run method? Let me show you the uh, sequence of methods when form is opening. So first method is init. Second method is data source init. At this, pl at this place uh, data is uh, loaded to the data source then run method And that at this point we are free to um, use post event handler to have all the f all the fields uh, uh, filled with the data on the uh, form. Okay. So here is our realization. You would um, need to find cast table form in application object tree. Right click on this one and say open in designer. This is easy way to get the um, procedure uh, header and, and the um, descriptor. Okay, so expand methods and then find run methods. Right click on it and say copy event handler method for post event handler. Uh, I already have it in Visual Studio. In the case of 2012, you would have it in, uh, in the MorphX. You copy this to, to Visual Studio class. I'll show you how it looks in um, Notepad. Okay, so before you um, copy this, you need to create a class for this. Good idea to give the class the name with, which includes the uh, uh, original form, in my case, cast table. I, I, gi I give it a name cast table form so you create a class right clicking on the uh, project and then add a new item and then code class here you give it a name and it will generate empty class for you as a um, method handler is a static object you don't need to instantiate the cl this class so just that uh, copy the code here into you you will have this for the class initially created and then you will have this for the um, whatever you copied from the clipboard from here okay 
All right, so now the um, um, trick is, um, or next step likely for you is to uh, get the form run for your form, in my case custom table form, which uh, shows you the customer. Okay, th this is how you do this, this stream. It's simple. You take it from the arcs, this type. Okay, and then um, you are taking the buffer for the customer table. So this is uh, how you do this. Okay, and then uh, your customization uh, goes here. Now, as you have the uh, customer table buffer, this one, uh, you can uh, pull um, whatever is related to this customer record in your customization. In my case, I am picking information from the custom table uh, sales order compliance. So I'm getting uh, object sales, ta sales table, getting sales table here. Then to the sales table, I have a one-to-one -one relation with uh, the uh, custom table, ASO AK ASO compliance table. So what I need, um, need account ID. Um, sales ID, and then um, I, I show in the um, info log on the form, customer form, the uh, sales ID and the compliance record from my custom database. In your case, you may have it more complex, so you, you may just instantiate the uh, class, customization class, and uh, uh, go from there. Okay, now I sh I'll show you how does it work. I'll place the bugger point and then uh, let me start. Okay, now I'll navigate to um, um, sounds like sales and marketing. I would like to open the customer directly um, one record uh, details instead of the list, which the list uh, is uh, accessible from accounts receivable. Let me do um, all sales orders from sales and marketing. Then I'm opening the sales order record. Okay, then I'm switching to header, and here I have a um, customer account, so let me uh, open customer account. You see my debugger stopped here. Okay, let's go step by step. Alright, so I got cast table, let me show you in the, vo in the watch. Okay, this is US 12, and this is exactly what I got on the on the form. US 12. So we got the customer. Okay, now this is my custom piece. In in your case, you will have a different placing info to the customer for log place here. Here is the uh, info log. This is coming from the custom table. So in your case, you will have different functionality. The important portion of this is here. Uh, to get the customer table buffer. And then from customer table buffer, you call your customization. I'm using version 8.1. Let's see version here. A service. Okay, let's. You can open something from uh, the core functionality. Let's open application suite, descriptor, and then um, let's uh, open this. Who is not that? For example, scroll down. Okay. Here is your version information.
Thank you for watching.